Hey, Menorcan Navy, uh, Captain Mandy coming to you. I got something special for you guys today. Uh, it's been in the works for a while, but we were finally able to make it happen. We're going to take a look at the Kurt J. Crosby and take a tour of it. You guys stick around. You're going to enjoy this. Well, here she is, the Kurt J. Crosby, and what a privilege it was to get aboard the vessel and be able to take a tour and sit down and and talk with the crew and, and kind of understand uh, a little bit about this tugboat life uh, and see uh, the office, if you will, uh, where these professionals uh, work and where they apply their trade. The sheer size of this vessel is okay, uh, it's 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 hard to okay. imagine until you've actually been on it and looking at it from the water and we've been pretty close to the kirk j uh, and really thought it was big uh, it is tremendous once you get on it and are able to take a look at it uh, the the space that that is uh, aboard a very livable craft and a very powerful craft as we will see in this video. This was a, a real treat for us and uh, we are very grateful to the Crosby Tug Company for allowing us access to the vessel. Um, they were very generous with their time as well as just completely uh, granting us access to, to take a look and. and try to grasp what it is uh, to be aboard one of these uh, modern day tugboats. It was a true uh, experience, uh, probably one of the one of the neatest that uh, we've been a part of and uh, very thankful to these guys uh, for what they what they were uh, allowed us to do. Now you're going to hear some familiar voices and probably see some familiar faces and uh, it's going to be a neat experience and i'm sure that uh, you guys are really going to enjoy this sit back and enjoy as uh, the project begins to draw to a close we were able to bring you something what we consider to be very special a very special time for for us and uh, hopefully for you guys. forward the boat's gonna go forward if the, the tricky part with this boat is and mr. body can tell you if we turn to the port we're gonna go starboard if we turn to the starboard the boat's gonna go port if we take them and we oppose them the boat's gonna stop and then to go in reverse you just start pointing them to the reverse to the stern of the vessel so for, uh, for folks that, that may not understand the pod drive or Z drive, I guess is what you what, what, what a lot of folks, a lot of yeah. folks know. Can you kind of kind of explain how that system works on the boat? Okay, as you can see these right here, this is an example of a, the propeller is in the cork nozzle down there, and it does a 360. Whichever way you point it is the way it's going to go. There's no rudder to command the thrust. To go that way like a conventional tub. This boat, the whole thing can make a 360. Right. And you got one of these on each go ahead. side on, of the on boat. Each side of the vessel, that's great. You see how it's turning there? Okay, 
that's the way the boat's gonna go. It's gonna go dead to the stern. If I want my stern to go to the port a little bit, I'll put it on an angle. So there's no rudder. The thrust is actually the command for the boat in, in which direction the boat will go. Okay? To actually stop this boat, you oppose them. See how they're moving right there? Okay, you put them, you make them fight each other, and that'll put you to brakes. Ah! That'll stop you right there. Okay, now for example, if I just wanted to move, say, a couple of foot straight, you oppose them five, up, f that's five degrees right there. The boat will slowly crawl to the stern at a slow pace, but it'll go even. The boat will stay even for you. If you offset them on just a little bit, say for example right here, then the stern's gonna go to the port for you, if that's the way you wanna go. And with that said, the bow is gonna fall to the opposite. So you really gotta watch which way you point it because you have a very big bow on this vessel and it'll cause the bow to run into the dock or whatnot. Now you, as you're twisting uh, the pod and making and making it rotate, you can you control engine throttle, the uh, power That's from correct. the from, from the That's same correct. control. This is the throttle. Board. This is the throttle. And as you do that, as you, you hammer down on the throttle, the little numbers at the top, as you can see, it's on zero eleven. And as you can see right here, it's on zero percent. It'll come up to give you your percentage of your engine. So for example, just putting it in clutch will give you 10% thrust, okay? Um, if you're moving a, a, a barge or you're maneuvering 10% uh, thrust, then you'll, go to, you'll get the command to go up. As the, the thrust goes up, the top is you actually uh, RPM, and this is your thrust at the bottom. It'll give you your, it'll give you, you know, what you're doing, uh, for how much power you actually use on the engine. And we can go up to like 90% on this engine. Amazing. Um, now, I'm looking over here and you got some other joysticks that are up here and, and some like, is, are, now these, are these control buttons for, for the... Yeah, these system? are for the pods. These are the takeover. Uh, for example, if some kind of way the pod went out, when you hit this button, then you can control these pods, make it go port and starboard with these buttons where the pods would not be operational. Okay? And then here you have, I'm going to show it to you on the camera, it's waiting out there. And that's my winch there. That's what makes a tugboat a tugboat that separates us from other vessels that we are able to tow with. This is my, this operates this mallet winch right here. This is actually the throttle and the clutch. For example, I have what they call an anchor drum which is the top drum, we are capable of pulling anchors. What I have to do to operate this winch is put it in, that'll put the clutch in, and then we put the transmission in, and then I speed up the RPM, and then I work my brake here, and, and that'll cause the winch to come up or go out, you know, whatever you prefer. All right, I got a question here. Are you the guy that controls the winch? Yes. The, yes. The winch I, I is controlled from, from the right winch here. is controlled from yes. up here. Yes. Okay. I operate the boat and the winch. Now, if we get in a hiring situation, if the weather's picked up, I'll give the chief engineer here to operate it for me. If I can't take my hands off the joysticks to operate the boat, then I'll have a second person come in. Okay. Fascinating stuff. As you pull up, you've got a whole a, 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 an array of, of uh, engine monitoring systems here, gauges for I guess in, 
I mean, it's, it's everything. Soil yeah. pressure, water temperature, RPM, okay. uh, transmission. Uh, For example, this is your hydraulic pressure. This is diesel over hydraulic, okay? Without hydraulic pressure, this will let you know if the if, if you not build up pressure, the winch will not work. Gotcha. Okay? This is the pressure on the brakes, okay? If that don't come up, for some reason, uh, if you're picking up an anchor or something, it won't come. If it doesn't come up, then you won't have, if, if you know that you don't have pressure. Okay, these little red buttons right here is totally different. If you can see on the back deck, we have these yellow, we call them sharp jaws and toe pins. Gotcha, I see them. You see them? Yeah. Okay. I do see it. Can you see it? That's called a short jaw. And does that does that hold your tow cable in in line? Is that, that that's right. Thing? Whenever we're picking up a tow cable, which you can see. The house is right here. Okay, that'll lock it in and keep it from going side to side. It's a safety product. That way when the men are hooking up to the cable cannot go side to side. Yep. Okay, now you see my toe pins coming up. That's another another safety device. That's fascinating. And if you got if, if you need deck space, flat deck space, you you, you retract them back. We and retract you got them back. The whole deck space, where they have the whole deck I mean, space. You got a deck back here big enough to have a basketball game on. No, we've thought about it. It's amazing. That's two pins. And, and what that is is. Say if we're picking up an anchor, we back up to an anchor, and we hook, and it keeps it from going side to side. Yeah. That way, it's more or less a safety it, for safety. And, and uh, depending on the weather and the, and the, the type of tow, sometimes we've known the tow with them. Everything is operational for this up here, but if we run into a situation with there is emergency yeah. stuff downstairs, run. that'll drop it if, 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 if need be. Now, how wide is this boat? 50 foot. It is 50 feet wide. It's 50 feet and what's the length, length of it? 150. 150 by 50. She's one of the bigger, bigger toes. It is, a, it is an amazing display of technology. And getting up in here and looking, just looking at everything that makes this, makes this boat up, the, the systems that are part of this thing. And that's, this, guys, this is just, we haven't made it to the bow of this thing. You know, we're, 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 this is the aft control station. Okay, on this, you'll see this array of, this is our alarm system. As you can see, you got starboard engine, sin engine, port engine. Uh, you see the RPM at the top. And the next is uh, oil pressure, and the next is temperature. 
and everything's digital up there. I mean, you got, uh, it looks like a computer screen, a computer monitor, and everything up there is digitally displayed. And I'm a, and it looks like you have the ability to look at several different things up there That's correct. if you wanted to. You can tab over and you can tab over uh, to a single engine if you wanted to. Like I said, we keep it on here, that it gives us a bird's eye view of, every, of all the engines when they're running. And if something was to actually go wrong with the engine while I'm maneuvering, you see where the red tab is, it'll actually write what's going on with the engine and what is the problem with the engine. Then right here, we have what we call an axis. As you can see, it, it actually has a map of the Port of Brunswick in it, in the area. And as you can see right here, we're right up against the dock right here, which is... That's right there. Right, right there. there we are. That's it. And it has the other boats. And we'll go more over in the front, of you. you can see it a little better. The name of the boats, the other boats, Everything the around this program is in, listed there. Is listed. You can't hide from anybody out there. No, especially this thing. <laughs> especially in Brunswick. A lot yeah. of people ask what is, you know, we here for different things, you know. All right. Now I'm looking over here on, on this on this side of of things and there's you got you got more goodies on this aisle as well, it looks yeah. like. This is actually the camera, as you can see, the winch. Uh, sometimes I can't look down, I gotta pay more attention so I could just glance at it. But see. when we're letting out or picking up tow line, where you see it's kind of hard to see, I gotta be being over like this. So what I do is I just look up and I can see my drum, which is the cable, that's a three inch cable on the tow drum, and I have no trouble seeing it. That's what it's, it's there for. And then I can operate the winch, you know, just looking at it. Just looking at that, you're, you're yeah. good to go there. It gives me a, a, a bird's eye view. You know, now, now over, second pair of eyes. over here on this side, you've got another, uh, looks like, uh, gear controller and throttle controller. Yeah, that's, in other words, this is the starboard engine. Okay, with that said about the, the controls, if I have a problem with the engine, and the chief is not around, all I gotta do is hit one of these buttons. This is the, the port engine, the center engine, and the starboard engine, and she'll automatically shut down. If I that's see a, an engine is in trouble, overheating or something, and, and the, the chief is busy doing something else, I got the control to stop the engines for okay. emergency purposes. And that's what these buttons are for. Okay. This is to switch the pods forward to half. If I hit this button, how it's lit, that tells me that the pods are on the aft station. Okay. And I have the same thing on the forward and station. And you can just transfer control I can transfer to the other, other and, station. And you actually have to. Without that, you cannot operate the boat. It won't let you operate. And it is, is this the center engine This control? is when y'all were seeing the videos with you, when you heard Ms. Mr. Buddy say Big Bertha in forward. Right. Well, this is Big Bertha. That is the control. That's the control for Big Bertha. The port and the starboard or the azimuth thrusters, she's stationary. She just propels so you got forward to the Just a conventional shaft running out the yeah. center line of the boat, yeah. propeller. Yeah. And that's the controller that right. makes, makes that work. These are two 16 cylinder AMDs. Big Bertha's a 20. 20 cylinder Two, engine. She with a turbo. With a turbo. She she probably has the horsepower equivalent of both of them. Wow. I look, I can't wait to see all that. Oh, it's but now we we finished we 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 looked and we have seen what goes on here. Stern. On the stern, now guys, we're going to kind of look around here and look at this. This is my paperwork here, where I do my paperwork. 
his computer. We've got a, we, he's got a workspace here, or a workstation, got his computer, all that. And then you look out this, this is an office with a view. I want y'all to look out of this, this view. Isn't this something? This is the forward control. This. Now you have quite a few more gadgets. What are we look? What are we looking at? Okay, to start it off, the same as the steering controllers. Same thing, the pods are here, big purchase here. Okay, this vessel, if I want to know what the wind's doing in the direction, just look up right here, wind speed. Right here is a compass, which gives me the direction. So at one point, this, this month, we received a maximum of 36 miles an hour wind a track of it. This is our radio, it's communication. Uh, when we're on the job site, as you can see I'm on 71. We stay on 71 depending on what the customer wants. And then I have a backup which stays on 13. Is that, is that the tugboat channel? Is that typically? Well it just depends. The 13 is for the river. Anybody in the river of any size vessel is going to have a, a radio. Right now in Brunswick, we actually have the dredge Brunswick. So every time we leave the dock, we have to contact him and give him a little notice. And this is our communications with him. And here, as you know, we have, this is an amazing tool for a vessel how we actually work at night. This is my set of eyes to work at night. Okay. At night, we need another set of eyes because your eyes only can see so far. So this is our radar. And you can adjust the mileage. And for example, okay, right now, it's on a half a mile, okay? See the barge over there? Right. That's the barge right here. Okay. You see how we got a standing line here? That's your bank office. That's the land. Now uh, it breaks up right here. That's water. Okay. We'll come down a little bit on it. All right. That will give you a better idea. So the center is actually us. So if we want to move out in the channel, you would move out, okay? So right here we know it's nothing. This is the two barges. That's the barge right in front of us. So and when, if you got out in the middle and there's nothing around you, you know you're safe, okay? Yeah. Any vessel coming down the channel, we would pick it up as a dot like this. How, how far out will that radar reach? 96 miles. Wow. With that said, though, it depends on everything. On an average, 24 miles, you're safe. Uh -huh. It'll pick up on the money. 24, and as you're going up, it's a little skeptical. But we more or less want to know what's around us. And I have two. We have two. We have a backup. If this one was to go out, I have this, this one as a backup. And what we generally do is run one long range and one short range. I got you. Okay. This is the thing you was looking at in the back. It's called so got another, another one of those up here as well. Yes. Yes. I yes. try to zoom in here and get a look at this thing. And again, that's that's what you were... It, it shows this vessel. Yes. And then right inside of us, there's another boat that's okay. right there. And that's... 
That's the little bass on the side. As you can see, I'm not pressed up on the dock. They got the Crosby Star. Right there, right next to us. us. Star is right here. Okay. Now we're going to zoom out. You see all the green is vessels. Everything all in vessels. there is a different vessel that's here in port. So if we wanted to leave, for example, right now, I would take off, come down the channel, and that's the buoy, that's the green side, and that's the red side. That's to tell you this is where I need to be. I can't be on the outside right here. The vessel draws too much water. There's no water. This is the Turtle River coming into the main river. And then this is where we at back up in here. And that's that's got contours on it. It's showing you depths and everything yes. on it right there. It will. Yeah. And what we can actually do is So you know I've been in that location. I've been, in, I've been there, I can, I can go I, there. I can go again. Uh, it's a safety thing. This one has a little red line. And this one has a green line. This one does little dots, you know, and you can set it to what you want. It's really a good tool. Uh, okay, another thing that's a good tool, if I want to know the exact depth, where I'm at at all times, which we normally do, you just look over at this, it's a depth machine. It tells us the depth of water. It will not stop you to, to, to go around, but it will tell you. Like, tell you what's, that, what's, what's underneath you. Right now, it's showing 26 foot, okay? I'm drawing 21 foot. So you gotta add that 21 to the 26, and that's the depth of the water that's actually under the cube. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. This is this is okay. This is our GPS, and this tells us the numbers of where we at. Latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude. Uh, you have to go to a chart to actually see it. So this is connected into this, which gives it the waypoint of the vessel, which saves you time from the old days to go into a paper chart. Without this, there would be no this. It's all integrated together to, to, uh, to give the actual position of the vessel. Very critical to know where you are. Okay, now as you can see, a big shiny compass. We can go back to the Columbus days with these, I guess. You know, that, you know the crazy thing, every boat's got a compass on it. Yeah. But that technology is is it's it's so far out date until you need it. Until you need it. If you lose power, for example, or you lose the antenna on the GPS, well, that's, that's gone. You'll never lose this. North is north, anywhere is in the world. Anywhere you're going to be. North is north, south is south, east is east, west is west. Sun sets in the west, it comes up in the yeah, east. Yeah. Any part of the world you're at. So it'll give you a point to travel. And believe you me, I have lost them. I have lost my electronics. The, the one and thing that doesn't fail is it's the compass. It's not going to fail. It's not going to fail. And I see the uh, the the pod controls. There, the, you talked about that. They're duplicated right back up here. Right same sort of here. same sort of setup that you went. They control the same way. And I'm 
you got the you got the the visual monitors up here as well, so you can see where those are pointed. Same duplication as what is on the aft control station. And I know what y'all gonna say that we take we cheat. Okay, here is my autopilot. Once I get going, say for example, when we gonna go back to Louisiana, when I'm gonna get in good clear water, I hit these two buttons and she'll drive herself. The thing of it is she won't move out the way for other vessels or nothing. You have to manually do that. But this autopilot, you hit it, and as you can see this piece over here, the red light's blinking. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I got you over here. When I hit these two buttons, she goes on auto. I sit in this chair, if I don't move in 30 minutes, the whole boat's gonna get woke up. Alarm's gonna go off Alarm's when gonna go somebody's not on watch. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what you have to do is, you have to put it on and you have to move every so often. You have to move and let the boat know, hey, I'm still awake. That you, don't, you don't have an oscillating fan on here. I might be able to show you a trick. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Yeah, I got, uh, generally, we got uh, anywhere from a nine to six man crew on board. So Right. Somebody's always on watch. Yeah, we work shifts on the vessel, so I wouldn't want to be a... It's a great tool to have, a safety tool. Just amazing. And I'm going to try to show you guys this, the, the whole control space here of the boat. And I keep calling it a boat. This thing's a ship. Um, it is massive. We could have a square dance in here. Oh, definitely. Come back around and just see just how big this thing is, guys. It's amazing. All right, guys, here we are. We, the, the Kurt J is, there's actually like three levels. This is a staircase that leads up to uh, the wheelhouse, to the control center. And then we've got this, uh, this center level um, where we, we've got. You can walk in there. This is actually the matron. We've got where they live. We actually live here. A stateroom in here. And this is home for the crews when they're when they're aboard the Kurt J. Restroom facilities right there. Right part of the thing. And they got a little workspace here, a couple bunks, um, dresser everything they need right in here we come out this is the boss's place of business this is it as you can see I can have a little a little dance in here if we need it yeah to. you've got a lot of room in here this is my personal bathroom he's got oh uh, the whole the, the whole shower everything's in here living is good Another de uh, workspace in here. Got his uh, a desk there, telephones, uh, every communication to any this, any this place is on the boat. A communication I can call throughout the boat. It's an air phone. What we call an air phone. I can call to the engine room. I can call the chief next door. Anywhere, anybody I really need to talk to is right there. If he's in the Z drive room, which you'll see a little bit later, it's all here. Everything right here, and this is if, uh, if I'm laying down quite comfortable here. accommodations. Very nice, and then we're going to go downstairs. We got another, another, another group of stairs coming down, and uh, I was down here a little bit ago. This is the party room, guys. Look at this. So we come in and kind of start looking around this crew galley, uh, hangout, meeting area. Just amazing. Got the gym, portable gym the, the, is, is on in here. Another workspace.
And then, hey, what's what's going on in here? You cook it all lunch. We uh, come on in. Look at the galley aboard here. Look at this. We, uh, and that's if we got an excessively big crew, we all do our own cooking. We take the turns at it. Just amazing. This is four refrigerators. Take them in the back, Dave. Show them up. This is a, this is a pantry. So, in pantry and pots. What a, what a, I guess a lot of people don't understand when you guys throw the lines off the dock. You may be gone for a while. So you look at this pantry and these guys are stocked because you know when they when they get underway, they may not be back by a by a grocery store uh, for quite a while. Yeah, we get stuck offshore for six months at a time. So they are when you when you head out, you're stopped ready to go, everything's on board. More freezers and it's, just, it's a mini grocery store. We don't have no Walmart. We don't have no groceries. What we have is we have to have it on board or we don't have it. We got the convenience store coffee maker. That's right. In case we need to make three gallons of coffee. That's right. Today's lunch is uh, ground meat spaghetti. Look at this, guys. Amazing. fascinating place and as we come we come back into the in the it, it, we got we got seating here for everybody and then some Kurt J Crosby all right guys here we are we're coming back down and Power what what is what is this place? This is the locker lockers for the different tools and stuff that we keep on the boat. Uh, Becky and Judy. It's this this is a whole separate okay. laundry room. Laundry area. Wow. Then picture what's in each locker: grinders, cutters, this, air fittings. All kinds of equipment. You got to have this stuff with you, guys. This is all electric, all the, uh, electrical components. Look at the switch boxes in here. Breakers, 440, 220s. Amazing. Extra power packs. Wow. All right, we're going in to check out. Air protection area. Not on the bottom of the deck. That's a winch engine. That's a 1271 Detroit. Yes, sir. And that's turning a hydraulic system. Running hydraulics. The one's a winch. Air in the hydraulic. Raining. Okay. Guys, look at look at the size of this winch. Oh. All right. I said three levels, guys. We're going down deeper. We're headed down deeper.
Navy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a tour of the Kurt J uh, as much as I did. Uh, the entire Crosby team that was there uh, embraced us. Uh, as you could see, complete access to anything. Uh, walked through the entire vessel with us and what a, what a real treat that was. Uh, would have liked to have gotten outside and taken some more video out there, but uh, we had some pretty rough weather as you can see in some of the video. So uh, we kind of kept things inside, which was great. Uh, just a perfect, perfect day. Uh, thanks a lot to those crews uh, for, for taking us in and showing us around. It was, was an amazing experience. Hey, we're gonna ask if you haven't done it yet, click on that subscribe link, share this video. It's awesome. Give us some thumbs up. Keep those comments coming. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.